Seedlessness is a coveted quality. It is a trend driven by an increase in demand for more convenient produce items. This is seen by the success of seedless watermelons, clementines, oranges, and grapes. You, the board of directors for Future Fruit LLC, own the intellectual patent rights to the first genetically seedless lemon to enter the Western food market. Your scientists have been working for 25 years to create this perfectly seedless lemon, which is 100% seedless 100% of the time. We, Poly Promotions, your marketing consultants, are proud to introduce Leora. Leora's seedless quality creates utility for chefs by reducing time spent in the kitchen, removing and disposing of seeds. Current seed removal methods include manually picking out seeds after juicing, placing a lemon slice in cheesecloth, or juicing a lemon into your hands or strainer. Chefs that use Leora will no longer have to waste their precious time with these current methods. Leora is the most efficient and hassle-free lemon that the culinary world has ever seen. We will begin today with Lindsay discussing Leora's market analysis. The goal of Poly Promotions market analysis is to build the analytical framework from which we can draw sensible business strategies to make Leora profitable. This analysis has three main components. A lemon industry overview, Leora's target market, and key target locations. First, let's take a look at the fresh lemon market. Lemons are used in a variety of ways. For example, cooking with lemons keeps vegetables white and acts as a replacement for vinegar and seasonings. In addition, lemon slices are used to add flavor to beverages such as iced tea, water, beer, and spirits. This array of uses makes lemons the eighth most prevalent produce item in the United States with over $300 million in annual sales. Per capita consumption of lemons has steadily increased from 2.77 pounds in 1990 to 3.96 pounds in 2010. This illustrates the increasing popularity of lemons. Within the fresh lemon market, 17% of lemons are used in retail, 13% go towards wholesale, and an impressive 70% of fresh lemons are used in the food service industry. Because food service is the top destination for fresh lemons, accounting for 325 million pounds of fresh lemons per year, our target market will be food service. However, since food service is so broad, our next step was to identify restaurants that use the most lemons and can afford a premium price. Using this criteria, Poly Promotions has identified top tier full service restaurants as the ideal target market. Full service restaurants provide table and bar services and are projected to reach 404 $0.5 billion in sales in 2011. The average restaurant uses at least 53 pounds of lemons per week. Within the restaurant industry, Poly Promotions will direct efforts towards top-tier, full-service restaurants located in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas. These locations and chefs were chosen because they are trendsetters and opinion leaders within the restaurant industry. These three cities rank within the top 10 best restaurant cities in the United States and generate a combined total of $11 billion in annual sales. According to the 2011 National Restaurant Association's Chef Survey, locally grown produce is the second highest trend, with 86% of chefs stating that locally grown produce is the most desirable factor when making purchases. Leora's target markets of San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas are all within 230 miles of Leora's growing regions. <coughs> Leora provides the perfect seedless, locally grown lemon. Now Jackie will discuss competitive analysis. Poly Promotion's competitive analysis is an assessment of the strengths and weaknesses of Leora lemons in comparison to our primary competitors in the lemon industry. We have created a SWOT analysis to identify Leora's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Leora's greatest strength include that it is a genetically seedless product that is resistant to cross-pollination. Many lemons on the market today contain seeds, but are able to be labeled seedless. Leora's thicker rind increases lemon storability as well as reduces product loss due to damages associated with shipping and handling. Leora enters the market a month earlier than any other California lemon and is a larger lemon with no seeds which are qualities that contribute to Leora's higher juice content. Like any new product, 
Leora may possess a few weaknesses. Poly Promotion's primary concern is competing lemon varieties possessing a longer season. However, as previously mentioned, Leora enters the market a month earlier than any other California lemon, which gives Leora the advantage of entering the market while its competitors are at a lull in supply at the beginning of their production. Also, Leora's price is slightly higher than its competitors, at 2.5 cents a pound, which is a 4.3% premium, but is justified by Leora's value-added characteristics. One of the many opportunities for Leora include an increase in demand for seedless products. Leora provides a product that allows chefs to be confident that their culinary masterpieces are placed in front of the consumer perfectly seedless. Additionally, Leora will capital, or since Leora is patented, this means that future fruit can control nursery growers as well as actual growers and can ultimately control the market for seedlessness. Lastly are Leora's threats, which include competing lemon varieties. In the fresh lemon market, Leora's major competitors are Eureka, Lisbon, and Meyer lemons. Leora lemons taste most similar to a Eureka or a Lisbon lemon, which are most frequently used in cooking. An obstacle that Leora may encounter are pre-established supply contracts between lemon growers and the food service industry. To visually represent why Leora is a superior product, Poly Promotions has created a competitive analysis summary. This summary represents competitive traits among competing lemon varieties. Each lemon is rated on a scale of one to five, one being the least desirable, five being the most desirable. The total score is the sum of the five categories, which represents Leora's overall competitive advantage. Leora's higher juice content, thicker rind, and genetic seedlessness provide strengths that set it a wedge above the rest of its competitors. Now Leanne and Leanna will discuss Leora's business proposition. Our promotional claim is based on a few key planning assumptions. Future Fruit has established a relationship with Greenleaf Distribution, a specialty distributor that will ship Leora from the packing house to its end location. Our plan is also based on the fact that Leora is genetically seedless, meaning it will never contain a seed. Although Leora is genetically seedless, it is not a genetically modified organism. Breeders have been able to create the seedless lemon through the crossbreeding of multiple lemon varieties, not by actually manipulating the DNA. The result is Leora, a lemon that is 100% seedless 100% of the time. Leora is grown by small-scale farmers in the Central Valley of California and will be available between the months of October through May. Being grown in the Central Valley allows for Leora to appeal to the new locally grown produce trend in the restaurant industry. Also, having an earlier growing season allows for a distribution advantage in the first two months of harvest. Our promotional efforts will highlight what makes Leora a unique lemon compared to any other lemon on the market. Leora is an entirely new lemon, offering its users higher juice content, great flavor, and genetic seedlessness. Our promotions will focus on the utility and efficiency that Leora will bring to chefs. Leora seedless lemons appeal to virtually everyone. Our expectation is that one day they will be available and demanded by all. But because Leora is a premium product, we have to start at the top in order to cultivate that demand. As our market analysis proved earlier, modern chefs are inclined towards products like Leora, which offer utility, distinction, and locality. In the cuisine world, the head chef is king. He is our target market because he will have a great interest in Leora's attributes, but also because he makes the decisions in his kitchen. High-end chefs are constantly trying new products and experimenting with recipes to refine their craft. These men and women in the upper echelon of the cuisine world communicate about products and ideas, try to emulate one another, and accordingly set the trends. There is a lot of work to be done to hook into this demographic, but the rewards are great because they are extremely product loyal and influential. In year one, Lior will be distributed in the culinary hotspot of the San Francisco Bay Area, where there are over 6,600 restaurants who meet our target criteria. In year two, Lior will expand its marketing and distribution to the metropolitan areas of Las Vegas and Los Angeles. And by year three, Lior representatives will be active in each of these constantly expanding culinary locations. Therefore, our first goal is to have a strong presence in 9% of the upscale restaurants of the San Francisco Bay Area by the end of year three, 
while continuing our marketing and distribution in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. In order to reach this goal, Leora will hire two sales representatives per targeted city. Because these representatives will be in direct contact with our potential customers, they will be key to executing our promotional plan. Each representative will visit restaurants and culinary schools, promoting Leora and giving out samples. They will also attend and participate at farmers markets and industry trade events. At targeted restaurants, representatives will explain the benefits of Leora and what make it superior to any other lemon. They will also be giving out samples to the chefs so they can experience firsthand the utility and efficiency Leora has to offer. Personally delivering samples and sharing Leora's story will help foster crucial relationships among our targeted chefs. Representatives will also attend culinary schools in the targeted regions. The California Culinary Academy in San Francisco will be the focus in year one, and later on in years two and three, representatives will visit other culinary schools in the Las Vegas and Los Angeles regions. At these schools, representatives will promote the benefits of Leora and give out samples to the students. These students will become hooked on using Leora, ensuring demand in the long-term market. Our objective is to create more demand for Leora among the next generation of chefs. Product familiarity and awareness will also be gained by being present at farmers markets. Stands will be set up at prominent farmers markets in the San Francisco Bay Area in year one. It has become increasingly popular for chefs to purchase quality produce at farmers markets themselves. By selling Leora at these markets, we will increase awareness among chefs and appeal to those capitalizing on the locally grown trend. Representatives will also attend industry trade events in order to increase label awareness and create buzz about the first ever genetically seedless lemon. A booth will be set up at the PMA Food Service Conference and Exposition in Monterey, California. Being present at this event will allow for Leora to exhibit its standout qualities and debut as a new product. At the Leora booth, representatives will be able to interact with potential customers and share Leora's exceptional story, 25 years in the making. The second goal is to gain 10% Leora label awareness in the food service industry by the end of year one and continue to grow 5% each year. A public relations representative will be a vital Leora team member who works specifically to achieve this goal. He or she will spearhead all of Leora's social networking endeavors and advertising. The Golden Gate Restaurant Association is a 75-year-old nonprofit trade association who serves the broader restaurant industry of the San Francisco Bay Area. Leora will sponsor events that GGRA holds, such as industry fairs, golf tournaments, and galas, and reach the over 2,500 GGRA members through signage and sponsors recognition. Poly Promotions has great plans for Leora to capitalize on the relatively inexpensive but effective marketing available through social networking. The Leora Facebook page is only one way to get in touch with chefs and release product updates. Front of house, back of house, also known as FOBO, is a social networking community created specifically for those in food service. The Leora representatives will join this community and spread the word about these seedless lemons through groups and discussion boards. Many of our marketing efforts, such as Facebook and FOBO, will be used as a platform to direct potential customers to the Leora YouTube channel. The YouTube channel will feature video of Leora, from the field to the kitchen, and testimony from happy Leora customers. The channel is an opportunity for transparency. Showing Leora's roots and benefits will resonate with our target market and create the loyalty Leora needs to succeed. Leora will, you, Leora will continue to take advantage of the popularity of social networking and FOBO by advertising on the site. Poly Promotions also plans to have Leora advertise online with Chef Magazine Online and the American Culinary Federation, and in print with Food Arts Magazine, Sizzle Magazine, and Edible San Francisco. All of this is not even to mention Leora's interactive website, which will be accessible from each of our promotions points. The third goal is to gain 99% customer satisfaction while constantly striving for 100%. We trust that the Leora representatives work diligently to achieve this and monitor the accomplishments towards our other goals. Becca will now go over our monitoring and measurement plan. Monitoring and measuring is Poly Promotion's way of ensuring that Leora's marketing strategies and procedures are working in accordance with your mission objectives. Efforts will be focused within the areas of customer satisfaction, label awareness, and sales and profitability. Poly Promotions Plan of Action outlines our prepared approaches 
each being detailed in the specific area of focus. As Leanne mentioned earlier, it is imperative for Leora to maintain 99% satisfaction while striving for 100%. This is an ambitious goal considering top tiered restaurants emphasize quality more than any other food service entity. Therefore, your sales representatives will take a personal approach when dealing with your customers. You will maintain constant customer contact to ensure the quality that they expect in your product. Through surveys conducted by these sales representatives, Future Fruit will have formal data on customer satisfaction, which will then be entered and analyzed in the Dashboard Analytics program. As you can see, it gives a graphical representation of your progress towards each goal, as well as helps Leora visualize where efforts need to be directed. Within year one, Future Fruit would like to see label awareness at 10% with 5% growth each year. Social, net social networking and website traffic data will play a key role in gaining insight into the interests of your target market, as well as the successes of your promotional activities. Services such as Gig Alerts and Google Analytics will help to monitor media coverage and track website traffic. Gig Alerts will specifically help to manage your reputation, monitor your competitors, and generate critical leads for future growth. Also, Google Analytics will track the customer's experience with your own website by following the visitor as they navigate through the site. These statistics will help Leora cater to customers' specific ones. Additionally, Leora will take careful assessments and evaluations of your sales and financial reports. You'll have a constant awareness of the company's transactions, therefore confident and informed decisions to price, position, and packaging strategies can be made when needed. The combination of your marketing efforts and your sales representatives will make these strategies effective. And now, Zach will inform you on the financials. Thanks, Becca. As previously mentioned, Leora Lemons will be priced at $24.21 per 40-pound carton in the first year, which is $1 or 4% more than the average price of our closest competitors. In order to gain a deeper understanding of our price per carton, let's take a look at our costs throughout the supply chain. Our first cost will be our growing costs at $1.05, followed by our packaging at $3.30, and then distribution at $4.84 per carton. Next, our operating costs will account for $3.93 per carton. And finally, the expense that Poly Promotions has the most control over, marketing, will account for $8.58 per carton. Based on these expenses of $21.70, we expect you, Future Fruit, to earn a profit of $2.51 per carton. Now, let's take a closer look at what our marketing budget consists of. In year one, Poly Promotions will focus 33% of its total marketing budget on shared sales representatives. This will be distributed between salaries and traveling expenses. The second most expensive part of our total marketing budget will be our print media and website advertisement, which will account for 25%. In addition to sales representatives, 16% of our total marketing budget will be allocated to the salary of a PR representative. Based on these expenses, our total marketing expense as a percent of revenue will be 35%, 24%, and 14% res res respectively from year one to year three. Each year, we will increase harvested acres to meet our growing demand. Cartons sold will increase from 48,000 to 96,000 to 160,000 cartons from year one to year three. Based on these cartons sold and our price per carton of $24.21, we expect you, Future Fruit, to earn a net profit in year one of $120,000. By year two, that net profit will be up to $550,000, and by year three, up to $1.15 million. Given this, we anticipate a return on investment in year one to be 12%, by year two, up to 30%, and by year three, up to 39%. These financial statements indicate that Leora Seedless Lemons are a profitable and worthy investment. In conclusion, Poly Promotions is proud to be a part of the future of the lemon industry. By marketing seedless lemons to food service businesses, Leora Lemons are in the best position to be successful. This evolving industry, specifically top-tiered full-service restaurants, will bask in the brilliance of these seedless lemons. 
Chefs will be beyond pleased with the slice of sweet simplicity these lemons bring to their hectic work atmosphere. Poly Promotion's extensive planning, execution, and monitoring of Leora's marketing plan will ensure profit maximization and secure market share. Poly Promotions is excited to debut the first perfectly seedless lemon, Leora Simply Seedless. Whenever you're ready, we'd be happy to answer your questions. Get to be first. Um, so I have a question about, uh, you, know, you talk about the, the cost per case. And uh, help me to remember the, the number that you said marketing per case was $8. And, and 58 cents. $8.58, Correct. which roughly represents about 30% of the cost per case. Correct. Right? What is, the, what, what is the marketing cost associated with non-seedless lemons or non-branded lemons? Uh, well, they are pretty similar. Uh, we were trying to go for a stronger push in the first year of targeting and promoting our non-seedless lemon. Um, but in regards to uh, non-seedless lemons, it's pretty much very similar. About, about, about the same? Yeah. Like, so most any, any you know, a generic lemon that I buy off the shelf or any chef buys off of the, off of the, uh, off the truck has $8 per case in marketing cost? Our, yes, sir. And um, part of, partly, is ours is a tad bit higher only because um, we are starting out and promote, trying to promote that we are seedless. Right. That's fair. I was just wondering if you had uh, surveyed any of the chefs uh, in San Francisco or anywhere else to begin with and find out what uh, they felt about these lemons, whether they were excited about them or if it's just another something they got to deal with. Uh, we have surveyed multiple chefs, and all of them were very interested in our lemon because they, they did say that it's a huge hassle for them to take out seeds from their lemons. And they did say, though, however, that if it was genetically <coughs> modified, they would not want to do anything with our lemons, um, but we're not genetically modified. So there was a huge need that we saw among our targeted chefs. Okay, thank you. You said at the beginning that there was a concern about supply contracts that were already in place. So the, the two sides of that question, one, how do you break through those contracts that already exist? And on the other side, I assume that means we have to sign our own contracts. So how do we manage, uh, with a really unique product, how do we manage any um, production failures and, and still supply needs? Well, as Leanna mentioned earlier, we have, our company has a pre-existing relationship with Green Leaf Distribution, which is one of the specialty distributors in the region. And we're putting a lot of effort into our marketing, where I see that all of the man hours that we've put in and all of the special promotions, there would not be much of, there would not be too much trouble in breaking in as a new product into this market. As far as uh, failure, uh, product of production or failure of production and that kind of thing, we guarantee that we are 100% seedless 100% of the time. And as Becca mentioned, that we will monitor our customer satisfaction with all of our analytics. And if there is an issue, then we will analyze it, fix the problem, and... What I meant by failure was okay. what if it, there's a freeze and you don't have a crop? Oh. That's what I meant. Well, we're not as worried about a freeze. One, one thing about a freeze is that it would hinder the rest of the production in lemons. So once we have a stable you know, grasp on the market that we wouldn't be too fearful of our uh, customers going to other products because they would be suffering from the same thing. In addition, our trees, the special thing about them is that they can be grown in different areas other than the Central Valley of California. Most lemons come from there, but our trees can be grown on the coast and in cooler regions. So there's not going to be an issue in the future expanding our production to the Southern Hemisphere, Arizona, Mexico, and Florida where I'm sure we would have plenty of production to supply that. It sounds like a great proposition, so why wouldn't I buy it if I'm a chef? Um, price would probably be the only reason that you wouldn't buy it as a chef, but um, since we are seedless, and it would increase your efficiency, most chefs in the top-tiered restaurants wouldn't be concerned with our price. Okay. So that leads me to my next question. If, there's, if, if, 
this is such a great product, how do you establish just a 4% price increase? Because it seems like I would, there's a lot more convenience there. I don't have to worry about seeds. I don't have to worry about anything like that. So I wouldn't, wouldn't I be willing to pay more than 4% for this convenience? Well, we do understand um, that it's only a $1 premium is pretty low. But your, as, as the uh, as U.S. Future Fruit asked us to keep it low as a $1 premium to make sure that we can still compete with these seeded lemons and also make sure that we're able to um, not only help them, help the, the restaurateurs, the, the chefs, um, but also not have them suffer from an added, added, pre, added premium. And my last question, have you done research on, because um, as I think about you taking something out of the, the plant, I know that it, uh, it doesn't have seeds, it's got a thicker coat, uh, and there's more juice, but I'm more interested in a chef. Did you change the quality of the juice, which could impact my food? No, there is no quality difference. You actually can't even tell the difference between a Eureka or a Lisbon lemon. And since there is a larger lemon and no seeds, there's actually more pulp, which is a lot of the flavor in a lemon. So it actually is a benefit. Okay. <clears throat> I think I heard you say that there's going to be two sales reps per city. Is that right, mm -hmm. someone said? Yeah. And you're in three cities, so that's six. And you've only your cost associated with those folks seems pretty low. Um, and then tell me a little bit about the distribution, uh, the distribution of the product, as well. Two separate questions. Okay, I'll answer the first one. Um, sorry, they weren't. Oh, sorry, that's just how I'm. Got me a little. <laughs> Uh, the reason for our lower salaries on there uh, is because we do have a shared, uh, a shared sales representatives because they will be also promoting our other products for future fruit. And also we will be relying on Greenleaf distribution to help us through the sales representatives um, kind of jobs, making sure the day-to-day -day operations are going smoothly. And just to follow up on your distribution question, the way citrus is distributed in California is through specialty distri or distributors, something, um, an organization like Cisco. Since ours is a premium product, we will work through specialty distributors like Greenleaf, who we have a pre-existing contract and relationship with. Um, if there are uh, chefs who pr have a preference of other distributors, I'm sure that we would be able to work with them to get the product from our packing house to the end location. Associated with that somewhere captured in here? Yes, sir. A couple areas that uh, I'm interested in in the budget, and I didn't see this in there, but uh, one is I guess we're buying all of the production. So whatever the grower grows, we buy. <clears throat> yes. Okay, now what happens when we have spoilage, wastage, sampling, all that stuff? I don't see any of that in the budget. Well, the price is based on the average between those allowances. Um, to make sure that our price that we have in, um, in front of you of $24.21 is uh, not only the top production that we can, um, can we, that we can grow, but also those allowances for the, for the, um, any, any um, spreadage. Or sp what? spoilage, sorry. <laughs> what, 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 what percent spoilage do you think is going to be? Um, I would say very low, under 10%, hopefully. I have a uh, question on, on your goal. Uh, <laughs> As you appropriately said, very aggressive, 100% satisfaction. Uh, that means that nobody will dislike your product. Uh, how can you how can you uh, assure that's going to be the the case? Well, we're 99% striving for 100%, and we're just really confident in your product, and we are going to take measures to ensure that quality. And so we're going to maintain constant customer contact ensure, to ensure this quality so that we're constantly talking to you, making sure that you, the chefs are enjoying the product. And then because it's a goal, we can reconvene and then we can see based on our analytics whether that is going to be achievable and then we can go back and analyze that. So that's 100% that's satisfaction in the brand but not so much in the product or 100% satisfaction, period. In the product. In the product. In, yeah. for, a, for a perishable good. The bruises. The bruises. 
and smashes and leaks and well, I mean, the thing, the thing, one of the things about bruising and transportation is that